Like and subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to get new video updates. The Equalizer 3 trailer, Denzel Washington is back to crack more skulls and deliver justice. Between Oscar-worthy performances and Shakespearean monologues, that feel like something you haven't heard a thousand times before, Denzel Washington has spent the last two decades cracking skulls and taking names, crediting at least to Man on Fire. In fact, he has been doing it for so long that his co-star in Tony Scott's amazing 2004 action thriller, Dakota Fanning, got a chance to break through and grow into a full-fledged adult actor. That sound that you just heard was the sound of millions of millennials cracking the vertebrae in their backs. As they suddenly woke up and cried out in fear Washington and Fanning are about to reunite for The Equalizer 3. The vigilante film franchise is based on the 1980s series of the same name, which was also reimagined as a TV show starring Queen Latifah in 2021. Both reboots retain the basic structure of the original show, and focus on former undercover government agents, who have taken to the streets vigilante groups fighting for the socially excluded. You can watch the trailer for The Equalizer 3 below. What extreme kills did Denzel Washington and returning director Antoine Fuqua pull off for us this time? The Equalizer 3 is the duo's fifth collaboration following the first two Equalizer films, the 2016 remake of The Magnificent Seven, and most notably their Oscar-winning crime drama Training Day. Aside from the latter film, the duo's films have mostly taken the form of slick macho need and potato actioners, about righteous non-superheroes, bringing justice to the bad men of the world. With little financial incentive to change this formula, we can probably expect more of the same with the third equalizer, this time around. However, there will be a change of scene as Fuqua has shot the latest Equalizer sequel in various locations in Italy. After most of the first two films were shot in and around Boston, the real question is whether any of the film's villains will need an end as memorable as the corkscrew death from the